G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 5 of season 1 of my Chelsea career mode series. We're going to kick off the episode playing a Champions League game against Olympiakos in Greece. This is going to be a difficult matchup. Olympiakos are a very big side, or a very decent side, I should say. The biggest team in Greek football, uh, them and Piak, and I don't even know how to pronounce their name, Piak and Orphos, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Those two teams are like the biggest teams in Greek football, so we cannot be taking Olympiakos lightly. Their fans are absolutely nuts. And we're going to be walking into a very hostile atmosphere. But hopefully we can get three points after that shocking and very embarrassing 4-1 loss to Zenit in the opening game. But it is uh, Joel Campbell who was on loan from Arsenal getting the opening goal there for Olympiakos in the 31st minute. Which I am not happy about at all. How uh, Czech didn't say that was beyond me. Uh, he should have saved it. Czech's been actually pretty average for me so far this season which I'm not too happy about. But it is Mario Balotelli on the bottom in the 41st minute, passing it to Oscar. Uh, he is looking for an option. He finds Eden Hazard, who takes it off the right foot, gets it past the keeper, and ties things up here in this matchup, making it a 1 all scoreline in the 41st minute. Awesome stuff from Oscar Hazard, I should say. Uh, but it is leaked in there to Matic in the 89th minute. An absolute shambles in the box as Matic claims the goal and gives us a 2-1 advantage late on against Olympiakos in Greece. Very, very happy uh, with that goal. It was absolutely weird how we managed to score it. Um, but we're going to claim it anyway. So uh, as you look in here, it was swung in. It was just kind of a bit of shambles. And then uh, Matic kind of got the right bounce of the ball getting the goal. If you look at the closer angle here, it just fell to him. But um, that's how we're going to wrap up the matchup. We defeated Olympiakos two goals to one away from home to get three very valuable three uh, three very valuable competition points in the Champions League. And the board is very pleased after the uh, win against Olympiakos. We had been in a bit of a slump, and then that victory was very very well done. Uh, and then the medical staff have cleared William to return from his injury. So welcome back to the side, William. Very happy to have him playing for Chelsea yet again. We're going to progress now, though, to the second matchup of the episode. It is against Norwich City, away from home. We are playing at the Hawthorns, I believe. No, that's the West Broms. I can't even remember. I, I remembered what Norwich City's stadium was when I was editing this. Um, Caro Road, there we go. I knew I remember it. Because the Hawthorns were West Bromwich Albion's home ground, but Carrow Road is Norwich City's ground. We are sitting in seventh position. A win here could possibly put us up to first position, dependent on other results. Uh, but in the tenth minute is Johnny House and playing a lovely lob through all there to uh, Leroy Fur, who's going to take a shot. He hits it off the post, and then uh, it is that Norwich player getting the rebound off the post, getting a simple tap in. It was the Gia Gelotti, but uh, where's Hulahan right now? He's going to whip it in. To G Gelotti, who gets ahead to it. It goes to Leroy Fur, and somehow he gets that pass to check. I don't know how Czech didn't save that. Um, but we're down now 2 0. It seems a world class and it's a lot more difficult to save goals. Like, the opponent just seems to be scoring crazy goals that you'd expect the keeper normally save, uh, which can become very annoying because in this game, I didn't feel like we were being dominated, but it just felt that Norwich were just getting the bounce of the ball every time. But uh, we did get an offside called here, and in my stupidness, I try skipping it really quickly. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's offside, skip it. And I press A too many times, passing it straight out to Becchio, who passes it to Gary Hooper. And Gary Hooper is going to slot it calmly past Petacek to give Norwich a shock 3 1, uh, 3 0, excuse me, victory over us. Uh, Carry Road, not too happy at all about that. That's how the match ends. Dropping three competition points and dropping in self-esteem a lot. That was an absolutely shocking match from the lads. Not happy at all after that matchup. We would have trained them so hard on Monday, being very pissed off with their performance. But we have yet again another difficult matchup. This time it is at Goodison Park against Everton, the Toffees. The Champions League pushes for this season and one of my favourite sides in the English Premier League. Hopefully we can pick up three roads in uh, Liverpool at the moment and hopefully uh, we can get the victory as I said before and hopefully everybody has a good game and bounces back after that shock loss to Norwich City. They've dropped down one position to eighth, uh, which is not good. We'd rather be gone up than down, of course. So hopefully we can bounce back and get the victory against Everton, but we're going to progress to the 90th minute where it is Ross Barkley on the ball, passing it to Lukaku. Lukaku getting uh, the ball out there to Pina, who plays it straight back to Lukaku. And the man who is our player but is on loan at Everton, 
bloody hell, he freaking puts a bullet in our ass, making me feel like I should have brought him back from loan, giving Everton a 1-0 lead late on in this matchup, and it proves to be the crucial difference. We lose 1-0 to Everton due to a Lukaku goal, and Lukaku really should be playing for us. I felt we were dominating Everton in this matchup, but Everton just seemed to get the lucky on the 93rd minute, and we didn't make the most of our opportunities. Uh, we do get an international manager offer here from the Netherlands Football Association, one which I was very tempted in accepting, but in the end, I decided to reject it. Uh, and then, bad news as Mohamed Salah has suffered a torn calf muscle and it's going to be out for about six weeks, which is an absolute low. But, guys, we've got to progress to the final matchup of the episode. It is at Stamford Bridge uh, on a sunny Saturday afternoon playing against Cardiff City, the relegation hunters themselves. Uh, and we've got to really pick up three points here to prove uh, that we aren't a flop this season. We really need to get back on the horse and really need to start getting some victories. Uh, we are currently sitting in ninth position, so we keep going down the ladder, which is definitely not a good sign. So a big victory here is definitely uh, well needed. So Matic right now, he's going to pass it to Balotelli. A beautiful ball and a beautiful run from Eto, who's going to hit it past David Marshall to give us a 1-0 advantage. A beautiful strike from the Cameroon Beast. We've got to progress now on to the something minute. I'm just trying to wait for it to go through. I thought it cut through. We're progressing to the 40th minute where Eto uh, passes it to Stephen Corker, who's going to pass it to Gary Medell. Uh, he's going to get tackled there from William. William looking for somebody. He plays a lovely ball here through to Sammy Eto and the Cameroon trying to get his double. Is he going to get? No, he passes it off to Balotelli. And what a beautiful strike from Mario Balotelli, the Italian. Beast, giving us a 2-0 advantage. It was a lovely strike indeed. But it is Kenwin Jones on the ball in the stroke of halftime. Lobbing it over the top there to Kim. Kim is going to take a shot and he gets it past Petacek. And this is going to be very stereotypical of what he is about to do. He's going to run to the corner post. And of course, he's going to do bloody gun and start. No, not being racist, but it is pretty stereotypical Korean, I suppose you'd say. Uh, but in the 52nd minute, Balotelli's going to whip it into Gary Cahill. And Gary Cahill flies above the Cardiff City defense, getting a rare headed goal and giving us a 3-1 advantage. And it's going to get extended here. As Cahill gets another header, it goes out to Wilfred Zaha. Who's going to get tackled from Matic? Who goes to Mario Balotelli, who lays it off to David Luiz. And the big Brazilian beast, Sasha Bob himself, getting another rare goal, making it a 4-1 advantage. And surely that is going to get us the victory. Yep, we get a big, big victory over Cardiff City at home to give us three well-needed competition points. Uh, unfortunately, Balotelli suffered a bruise grip. He's going to be out for nine days, which isn't too bad. Uh, but that's how we're going to wrap up the episode, guys. If you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you leave a like. Uh, yesterday's episode did terribly. I think that's because of Team of the Season. So I'm not expecting a great amount of likes on any of these episodes. Uh, whilst Team of the Season is really big. But if you did enjoy, as I said before, make sure you leave a like. Uh, if you guys are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, make sure you check out FIFA Coins for sale. Uh, link will be in the description and use the discount code JaredHD for 5% off at checkout. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 14 career mode content. Uh, follow me on Twitter at JaredHD. But most importantly, guys, have an absolutely amazing day. It's been JaredHD here. I'm out. Peace.